went crazy doing it and maybe you won't. So you can either do it by external instruments, but what I prefer doing is having an actual drum rack. So you load an empty drum rack, as you can see here. And then what you're going to be doing is going to instruments, external instruments, and drop it to the first one. We're going to rename this kick. We're going to send the output to whatever media it is connected to on your interface or on your sound card or whatever. Mine's just port, port 4. We're going to set the channel to number 3 because the first one and the second one are taken by the CV tracks on the pants bar. Once you've done that, you duplicate it all the way. So we're going to create another one. We're going to copy this. We're going to do the same thing. External instruments, bring it in. This is probably going to be kick two, since there's two kicks. Kick two. Then there is external instruments. We're going to do same thing, port four, channel three, and so on and so on until you get all the way to the shaker. Bear in mind there is two kinds of toms. So for each, you have to do three toms, basically. But uh, just details. Uh, once you've done this, what you're going to be wanting to do is click on nope nope is to click on sorry there we go okay so you click on this until this shows up right and then you say here play so you want the kick to be playing c3 you want the second kick to be playing c hashtag free and so on so you're going to keep on changing the notes so I'm just going to show you what mine looks like so you have a better idea. There we go. So as you can see, I have my kick, tom, mid tom, snare, clap, whatever, on, so on, and so on. And then the only difference is that between them, there's a different notes. As long as you have the notes difference, then you're good to go. Okay. So once you set that up, and this is what it plays, right? Once you set that up, we go into here. Let me just grab my camera, little GoPro. Okay, so I'm gonna hold my mic. What you're gonna be doing is press this, number 10, so you go into the setup, you go number one, and then this lights up, the kick lights up. So what you're gonna be doing is just playing each and one of them all the way. So let me actually, I loaded the wrong one, let me load user pants bar there we go that's my latest one okay so i'm going to be pressing the kick once the kick gets pressed as you can see it switches to the second kick <coughs> sorry and so on and so on kick two then there's a snare and as you can see i press the snare so now we're on the rim shot so You're going to be going to the rim shot and so on and so on. So I put the rim shot is the symbol. And anyways, you go on and on and on until it reaches to the until it reaches the shaker. Once the shaker I forgot my camera. Once the shaker is done, then you just press select. It's going to start flashing and then that's it. You're good to go. And then the ending result is, let me just put the audio in through here, I think it is. And then another input. And then, yeah, you can trigger it. Kick, <coughs> snare, mid tom, rim shot, and so on. And then you can just do a sequence from here. There you go. And then you can obviously change all the things, all the settings that you were you want to change. You can while it's running.
and there you go that's how it's done